Hey guys, in front of us here is the dismantled Bowden X carriage mount for the E3D version 6 and compatible hot ends. This is something I designed over a year ago and I've been using it very successfully on my Prusa i3 3D printer. After uh, creating this, I then added the two huge cooling fans with the fan ducts on either side of the hot end so I can print quality parts just like the um, uh, Marvin keychain that you saw in the previous video. The one downside with this setup, of course, is that these fans are merely just a bolt-on on either side. They're quite large and they can disrupt or obstruct the view of the actual part printing. So, I think it's well overdue for a refresh. Out with the old, in with the new. Here is the version 2 of the Bowden X carriage mount for the E3D version 6 and compatible hot ends. Uh, you'll notice this is a much simpler and cleaner design than the original. It incorporates a blower or radial fan which mounts actually on top of the hot end and ducts through the actual mount of the uh, Bowden carriage itself. Below that we have a fan duct and that fan duct simply slots in within the, the Bowden mount and forces the air uh, directing at the nozzle of the hot end. Uh, finally, I've also incorporated uh, an X end stop uh, position here, although I've uploaded one of these without the X end stop in case yours is on the other side. This 50mm blower fan is a stock standard fan you can buy online for only a few dollars delivered. The fan, first of all, uh, fits into the top of the Bowden mount like so. It clips in where it flutes out of the radial blower fan just like that and holds itself in place. However, I have included a mount here where you can insert a 25mm uh, screw and use a nut on the back to hold the blower fan in place. Next up we have the fan duct itself. The fan duct slots in underneath the uh, Bowden mount and you'll see there are two mounting screw holes on either side of the fan duct uh, which you can just use an M3 screw to just screw in. The holes are a little bit smaller than M3 so they'll grab onto the plastic that you use. Uh, you use an M3 screw of anywhere between 6 and 10 millimeters in length. Screw the fan duct in place and then both of those pieces will be locked in and ready to print. Now at the 3D printer, I've mounted the Bowden version 2 to the X carriage. I've also screwed in the two screws locking the fan duct in place, and also the one screw over here locking the blower fan in place. Last thing to do is to actually mount the E3D hot end. Slot that in like so. Attach the clamp and screw it in. And to prove that the new fan design does actually work, here again is the Marvin keychain printed again at 0.1mm layer height, and this one here is the Chimander printed at 0.2mm layer height, and they've both come out perfectly. There are no uh, overhanging uh, layers, uh, the plastic has come out nice and firm, and all the detail is present in both of these parts. Uh, one thing you'll notice though if you do end up printing with this design is the nozzle is quite narrow on the new fan duct, blowing almost straight over uh, the, the part and because these two are hollow it sounds like there's a bit of a wind tunnel uh, action going on. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump on Thingiverse, download this version 2 design, and get printing. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments, 
and I'll catch you next time.